Binary search is also an algorithm that makes use of the divide and conquering approach. So what we do here is we are going to search for a number in a list. Okay, so for example, we have this list containing 1, 9, 14 until 48, and we are going to look for the number 14. So the first thing that we have to do is look for the middle number or the number in the middle of the list. So in this case, it is 25. And uh, then we are going to compare the number that we are looking for with <coughs> the number on the center. So is 14 less than 25? In this case, it is true. So all those numbers that are greater than 14 or on or those numbers on the right half will be discarded. Okay, so we are going to focus on looking for the number 14 on this list or on the left side instead. Now, the next thing is we are going to look for the middle number or the number on the center again. So assuming it is 14, so now we compare is 14 less than 14? In this case, it is false. So what we are going to do is discard all those numbers that are less than 14. And we are left with this list. Now is 14 less than 14? In this case, also no. And now is 14 less than 15? Yes. So we are going to discard the right Na list and we are left with 14. And is 14 less than 14? In this case, it is true. So um, we have found a number. So we can actually further optimize this uh, algorithm because we started with the less than and then the greater than. So what we can do instead is we can compare if this number that we are looking for is equal to the number on the middle of the list, right? So for example, in here, we have already found our number, but we still had to um, evaluate whether 14 is less than 14 and that further lengthened our process. When right away, we could have returned that, yes, we have already found your number, okay? <laughs> yeah, so in this case, how is this a divide and conquer approach? So we are also dividing the list into two halves. So essentially, um, in every iteration or in every um, step, we are discarding half of the list. Okay, So that lessens the number or the number of numbers that we have to um, look for. Okay, what about for the min-max approach? So this is for finding the minimum and the maximum. So we also have a list and we divide it by two and recursively divide it by half until we are left with uh, a pair of numbers. Okay, And then we are going to um, conquer or find a solution. And here we compare these two pairs and look for the maximum and the minimum. So in this case, the maximum is 92 and the minimum is 55. And we are going to use this result to compare with this list, with this pair of numbers 14 and six. So in this case, between 14, six, 92 and 55, the maximum is 92 and the minimum is six. And then, we use this result to compare with this pair until such time that we have evaluated all of the pairs and we have found our maximum and the minimum number. Okay, 